fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Mm -hmm. figuring things out I promise okay actually though to be dead honest let me just show you what you're standing on this is where I set you guys this is a paper towel roll I guess you could say it's a paper tower <laughs> no but today um, I will be doing a um, cheetah look for you guys Tama Christine my aunt she did let's be zebras because zebras was a big part of her childhood and I'm like oh well hey I could do cheetahs because that was a big part of my childhood. Am I too, like, down? Much better. Okay. As I was saying, so I'm going to be doing cheetah with Milani. Um, you guys saw me with my, like, oh, wow, how pretty is this? That's what this is going to be. So, let's just get it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the palette, and I'm going to be using... Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, Catch a Tan, which is right... There, this one right here above the red. And then I'm going to blend that one with Toast of Town. I'm going to put those two right above and going into my crease. So let's do that. And then you're going to take those two, the same colors, and use a flat angled brush and just kind of go from the bottom and point it to the top to the end, if that makes any sense. And to make this like look deeper, you're going to be adding... Um, eyeliner right on your waterline just to make it like a like a deeper feel for it and then that's the entire eye look with mascara so the way that I did my mascara was normal obviously and the eyeliner I went all the way into to the like to the beginning and the end of my waterline because I really want to make it like stretched out more like a cat because wait is it cheated a cat I think it's a cat so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. So that's the eye look, and now I'm going to go in with these spots on my forehead and on my cheeks. So once again, you want to go in with the toast of the town right here as your base to make the spots. Um, luckily, my cheap ass elf brush, the just it's like the eyeshadow one, um, makes like the perfect spots. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just put them like randomly on your forehead and on your cheeks, which is what I did. Now, once again, you're going to go into it with the flat angle brush, and you're going to be taking Chocolate is Life, which is this dark color right here, and you're going to be using that as the, like, the, like, the outline, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. Just watch. This is the cheetah spots. If you want to add more, you can. This is just what I added. And for the lips, we will be rating my sister's makeup. Well, I couldn't find hers, but it was a black lipstick, which was perfect. But since I can't find it, great job, Jelly Knight. I see what you did there. <laughs> since I couldn't find it, I will be using Milani's lip gloss, the same one that I used. It's the tenderest... tenderness? Oh, well, I can't read. This is the final look. Of course, you can add whatever you want, contour, eyeliner, you name it. When I had the idea of using the black lipstick, I was planning to just put it on the top of my lip, but since that she didn't have it, then I just put lip gloss on the both bottom and the top. Um, so this is the look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys have a great Halloween. Mm. <sighs>